It's short time. <laughs> What is up, everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner, here for another Ginger Runner review. This video has become an annual tradition over the last couple of years, and I'm very excited to bring it back with emphasis and pizzazz. Before we get too far into this video, I want to let you know we have a lot of upcoming reviews, a lot of products around this house that need reviewing, so expect a lot more videos in the coming weeks, prepping you for new shoes, new packs, all sorts of goodies coming your way. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So it's that time of year again. When the sun comes out, we get to flaunt our chiseled runner bodies and enjoy the heat of the summer. Or if you're like me, you melt at the sight of the sun, you can't breathe through your lungs because it's too damn hot to get a run done, so you try to cool off by bathing in the bathtub full of ice cream. Just me? It's summer. Perfect time to bring back our annual Summer Shorts Showdown. Each year, I gather a bunch of the top manufacturer shorts, throw them through the Ginger Runner gauntlet, pick our worthy examples that fit my needs, and earn their spot on the list. Last year, I was able to whittle down the competition to my top 10 favorite shorts. That video is still worth a watch because a lot of those shorts are still available, if not on sale. This year, though, there weren't as many innovations or standout pairs of shorts, so unfortunately, I didn't come up with 10 pairs. I came up with five, each with their own unique style, qualities, comfort, and benefits. I think you'll like them. Also remember that my criteria might be a little bit different than yours. I do like myself a good pair of three inch split shorts. I mean, who doesn't? I do look for shorts that hold up to constant wear and tear. I do wear these for a majority of the year, not just summer. Can they hold ample amounts of gear from my cell phone to a handful of gels? And do they look good? This also means that these shorts tend to fall outside of that affordable sub $30 range. The materials, the features, durability, and quality tend to push them above that. That being said, again, go back to last year's list. A lot of those shorts are still available and more affordable this year, so go snag them. Great way to save some dough. And without further ado, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, my 2018 Summer Shorts Showdown Top 5 list. Starting in at number 5, the Solomon S-Lab Shorts. This is by far the most unique pair of shorts on this list. In fact, I don't even want to call it a pair of shorts. I wanted to call it a shorts system because it's multi-parts. It's also the most expensive by a long shot like an astronomical long shot here's how it works the system is comprised of a boxer brief which comes in three different lengths as well as the outer shell which also comes in three different lengths you can pair them up however you deem most comfortable most affordable what's cool is that the boxer layer has some built-in stash pockets that are big enough for a phone or gels keep it nice and tight next to your skin if the two pockets in the boxer brief aren't enough for you guess what there's an additional option of a belt that adds a bunch of storage capacity it's a super advanced system the fabrics are great it's holding up really well super light super breathable but holy sh it's expensive. The boxers range in price from $42 to $150, depending on which length of leg you want. The outer layer ranges in price from $42 to $50, depending on which length you want as well. Throw in that additional gear belt, that's another $50. As seen here, $190. No, God! <laughs> What? So why did this even make the list? Well, they also make a one-piece version. The Solomon Sense Pro Shorts give you a lot of what this system gives you. The stretchy materials, the quality build at a price of $60. See, now we're talking, yes, that's still expensive, but you get a lot of the cool things associated with the top tier kit in a one piece, should work for everyone, pair of shorts with tons of storage, solid looks, and the quality that we've come to expect. So let me confidently say that I am very grateful to have these three items in my possession. I will most likely bronze them and hang them on my wall because I no longer want to break them. But you right there. In at number four, from Rabbit, the Verts, which I'm guessing is short for verticals. Vert verticals. All right, I love to see this California company on this list. I like these shorts a lot. I think they're kind of cool and stylish. The company's really young and fun. They take risks. I think the quality of the shorts is solid. They feature this wide waistband and a pretty slim fit. Both work well together and the shorts are holding up really well. There's two quick side access pockets as well as two additional pockets that are right there on the cheeks. You know, one of my main gripes is just that the pockets they actually don't hold a phone. Uh, I know many of you don't run with your phone. I like to. I like to take pictures. I like to keep track of things, listen to some music. So unfortunately, you can't really stash a phone in any of the pockets. The two pockets on them cheeks also don't really work to hold many items in. I think they work great for garbage collectors. Like if you're picking up old gel wrappers or that sort of thing, places to stash garbage. Otherwise, the small tab of Velcro doesn't hold them totally shut and uh, they're kind of useless. Overall, good shorts that are comfortable get the job done. Whole bunch of different colors and things like that. 
that. And at 60 bucks, it's a, it's a decent investment for a good quality pair of shorts. All right, in at number three from local Seattle company, Brooks, uh, the Sherpa 5-inch. Let's be honest, these shorts have been my workhorse shorts for all of 2018. Uh, as soon as I grabbed them, I knew I was going to love them. They have pretty much everything that I need in a pair of shorts. Durability, quality materials, it's light and airy, quick to dry, plenty of storage, and I think they look good. So as far as storage is concerned, there are two side stretch pockets and one big zipper pocket along the back. All three of those pockets can accommodate a cell phone very easily. There's also a tiny little stash pocket on the inside to hide your credit cards, keys, that sort of thing. The shorts are very reminiscent of the Patagonia Strider Pro shorts, which is a very good thing. Those shorts have made this list multiple years. I did not put them on the list this year because they don't change much they're just good and, and the brooks sherpa five inch definitely feel a little bit like the patagonia strata pros and at a better price 48 bucks lowest price shorts on this list i think it's a good grab you can find them on sale even better in at number two from ultra running the trail shorts 2.0 it must be better than the 1.0 because it's it's 1.0 more. Okay, do you guys remember the shorts from Pearl Izumi, the Ultra Trail shorts that I put on this list multiple years, but they discontinued them because Pearl Izumi decided not to do any more trail running gear, but I still have a pair from the last eight years and wear them regularly, including today. That's why they smell so bad. These, well, guess what? Ultra created a pair of shorts that's very similar to these and I like them. The Trail Shorts 2.0 feature some really cool storage solutions. They have some stretchy pockets that are angled on the side of the hips, both left, both right, and they have a nice hidden zipper pocket along the back. Plenty of space to store a phone or extra gear, and then they got a cool new feature, an entire stretch mesh panel here on the back where you can stash a jacket along your lower back, or perhaps a set of tracking poles will fit back here. It's a simple yet effective addition to a pair of shorts that already has a ton of storage and features. I like it. I think it's super Fun. And the shorts fit fairly well. It's not a little baggy. You know, that's really my only gripe with them is that they don't come in a brief version, only the long leg boxer version. So on those hot summer days, they tend to feel warm and a bit baggy and a bit loose. <laughs> So sizing and fitment issues aside, I'm a big fan of the Ultra Running Trail Shorts 2.0. Definitely encourage you to take a look. If you like these, You'll probably like these, but I really miss these. Pearl Azumi. And finally, in at number one, from the North Face, the Flight Better Than Naked shorts. So these made the list last year. The Better Than Naked shorts are some of my favorites purely because they really do feel like nothing. They are super lightweight. The materials are improved this year. The Better Than Naked shorts that I had on the list last year, after a lot of use, tended to disintegrate along the seams. A lot of the seams came undone, and unfortunately, I had to toss those shorts, which is not a good thing. A lot of that has improved with the new version. I think they're holding up much better than last year's version. They're still super lightweight, not quite as lightweight, but that's okay as long as they hold up better. Tons of big, stretchy mesh pockets here along the back to stash gels, garbage, trash, all sorts of good things back there. A nice long zipper pocket along the back, big enough to hold a cell phone. Overall, a quality pair of shorts. Really, my only gripe comes with the waistband and the drawstring. They tend to work against each other and want to fold over whenever you put the shorts on. A little bit of adjustment and a little bit of tie down locks them in. And once they're set, they're ready to go. But it does take a bit of finagling when you get these shorts on and start tying the drawstring to get them to sit just properly. Uh, and also the digital multi-layer camo that they're featuring here on the front. Uh, not a huge fan of camo on my running gear because let's be honest, honest, there's no amount of camo that will hide my hideous thunder quads. I tend to favor the bold, simple colors in a pair of shorts, less texture, less pattern. Otherwise, a super versatile, super lightweight, great pair of shorts for training, racing, or just plain dancing. And at 55 bucks, not a bad price. So that, my friends, is it for the 2018 summer short short gown. Are there shorts that I did not cover in this review that you are like swearing by or wearing on the regular? In the comments of this video, let me know and tell me why you choose the shorts that you choose. I'm always looking for new and innovative pairs of shorts. I'd love to hear back from you guys. Remember, all of the shorts that I talked about today, you can purchase or just find out more information by clicking the links in the description. Obviously helps the channel out. And don't forget to go back and watch last year's Summer Shorts Showdown. I, I think there's a lot of shorts that are still available that are at a discounted price, well worth your time and effort. Want to make sure that you guys are getting out there and running in comfortable shorts shorts. So again, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like favorite subscribe, you know, the drill over here, social media links. If you want to help this channel survive and continue to do what we do, consider supporting on Patreon, patreon.com slash the ginger runner for as little as a dollar a month. It goes a long way, helps everything happen here. And I will say right now coming very soon, 
is registration for this year's GRGR, formerly known as GRVR. The Ginger Runner Global Run will be taking place on October 8th this year. Registration opens very soon for everyone across the globe. There's basically just a lot of really cool swag and the opportunity to run with the community like no other. More info will be forthcoming, so make sure you follow everywhere and you'll definitely get wind of it. I said wind. All right, my friends, get out there, train hard, race harder, and party the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye-bye.